Okay, in today's video, I am going to go over the following terms for simple machines and how they relate directly to pulleys, one of the most common kinds of simple machines, especially if you're in school. Okay, we have the input force, the input distance, the output force, the output distance, and the mechanical advantage. Those are the five terms. Did I say four? Those are the five terms we're going to go over. All right, and this is how it works. This is the pulley machine. These are the pulleys. This is the simple machine. We have one pulley, two pulleys, three pulleys, and four pulleys. We usually, when we have them grouped together, we think of this as like the top pulley, the two, and then this is the bottom pulley. This is the string we would pull, and this is the object. It starts here. We're going to raise it up to here, okay? So the first thing, and maybe the most straightforward thing, is the output force, is the weight of the object that we're trying to lift. It's measured in newtons. If you measure your weight in the metric system, you measure it in newtons, and the weight of the object, <clears throat> excuse me, the weight of the object is the output force. That's the force you're trying to get out of the machine. You want to raise that thing up. That's the force you're trying to get out. And usually when we draw that, we draw it pointing straight down because the force points down, the output force, and it's equal to the weight. So if somebody was to say in a problem, oh, you're trying to lift an object with a weight of 20 newtons, that's the output force in this case. Okay, then we have the input force. That's the force you put in to the machine. That's why they call it the input force. And it's usually just the force you apply to the string. When you pull the string, you have one of those spring scales. You attach it to the end and you pull, and that's the input force. That's the force you put in. This is the force you're trying to get out. This is the force you put into the machine. It's also measured in newtons. Okay, then we have the output distance, OD. That's the distance that the object is raised. That's what you're trying to get out of the machine. You're trying to raise it some distance. That's what you want to get out. That's why it's called the output distance. It's the distance that the object moves up, because in this case, we want to move this thing up. So we go from here to here. That is the output distance. Then we have the input distance, okay? The input distance is the distance that you actually move the string. When you pull the string, you pull it up in this case, and you pull it that far. The distance that you pulled, that's the distance you put in. That's the input distance. Okay? And that would be and the distances are, should be measured in meters. Sometimes they measure in centimeters, but really they should be measured in the base unit for the metric system, which is the meter. All right, so those are the four terms. Output force, OF. Input force, IF. That's what you measure with the scale, the spring scale. The output distance is the OD, that's the distance the object is raised, and the input distance is how far you pull the string. Okay, you should be familiar with those four terms and how they relate to pulleys. Okay, now let's just go over uh, what the mechanical advantage is. All right, the mechanical advantage, now it has kind of a technical definition or a technical sounding definition, but I think the best one I found is it's the factor by which the simple machine multiplies the input force. And really, with simple machines, we want to be able to put more force in, no, excuse me, less force in and get more force out. That's why we use a simple machine. If we want to be able to raise something up that's 100 newtons, we don't want to have to use 100 newtons of force. Okay, and we'll go over some problems and figure that out. But it's the force, it's the factor by which the simple machine multiplies the input force to give us the output force. All right? Now, there's two equations. The mechanical advantage, MA, can be found by taking the output force and dividing it by the input force, or you can take the mechanical advantage equals the input distance divided by the output distance. The mechanical advantage is a unitless number because the forces or the distances will cancel. Okay, now, for pulleys, and only for pulleys, because that's the only one that really has a string, you can determine the mechanical advantage by counting the number of strings supporting the output force or supporting the weight. Okay, so all we do is we count the number of strings, and this is what I mean by that. We have our pulley system over here. We're going to, oh yeah, we want to figure out what the MA is. We're going to figure out what the MA is. We just count the number of strings. The way we do that, we just look across the middle between the two pulleys how many strings are supporting. Because really, this string supports the weight, this string supports the weight, this string supports the weight, and this string supports the weight. So you just look across, you count, and you come up, in this case, that the mechanical advantage of this pulley system is four. So this pulley system is going to multiply the input force by four. So for example, if we put 20 newtons on the scale, we pull the string, the input force with 20 newtons, 
we're going to be able to lift an object that has a weight of 80 newtons. So we're going to multiply the input force by a factor of 4. Just count the number of strings. Okay, so that's a quick video. Goes over those four terms, output, input, input, output, distances and forces, and mechanical advantage. In the next video, we'll actually do some calculations where we calculate some of the forces and the distances. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you.